Welcome to Rugby M here on Free Sports. I'm joined in the studio by my partner in crime, the one and the only Jamie Jones Buchanan, and the current England and Castleford scrum half, Luke Gale, Man of Steel as well. Gailey, thanks for joining us today. No worries, how are we? Yeah, not bad. We're going to start at Ellen Road on Friday night. Record Super League attendance for Leeds. And who'd have thought, when that kick went over at half-time, what, what's going through your mind there, Gailey? Because... No one really in the stadium, I don't think, expected you to go for the drop goal, but that game management won the game in the end for Cass. Uh, yeah, probably a, a bit too far out, if I'm honest. But um, it's either put a bomb up or, or run it to touch or die with it. Or I just thought, look, I'll have a crack um, and look, it come off, not knowing that that would be the, the, the winning player of the match. But look, I watched the game be St. Helens week before and Leeds, they, they always just just in it and that's why they're a champion side and every every point's vital so uh, luckily I did it and, and it paid off. Uh, you've bought your Man of Steel trophy in with you. Uh, you asked me to do that, uh, I, didn't, I didn't just bring it. Front box seat at car. <laughs> <laughs> I parade it everywhere. <laughs> um, when Brett Delaney got hold of you, Edgar, is that what sent you off? Don't no, touch the hair. No, well, Don't wait, touch what, the like, hair, Frog. Where do you think you can just come and drag someone's head guard? Like, what? <laughs> do you know what I mean? So I just thought he wanted a close look at my hair, really. I think I said that on TV afterwards. Yeah. No, look, it's, it's heat up battle, isn't it? And uh, I'm 85 kilo and I like to throw my weight about a bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a, a Castleford back on the march because you only lost one game this year. Saints, you got, you got turned over at first game of the season. But... It's not a bad thing being the underdog when Saints and Wigan are leading the pack. Yeah, look, I think that first game and everyone's saying, oh, that's it for Castleford. Um, look, we're not we're not playing great and we're not beating teams by 60 points like we were doing last year, but we're still getting wins. It's about getting them wins and, and come October, no one really remembers them games in, in March and April and stuff like that. So, yeah. look, we learned, we, it were a massive lesson last year. We were out in front all way, Leeds just... Second, and then look, they come on the big, the big occasion, and, and the turn is over. So, like I say, look, we we, we still want to progress, and we still want to improve every week. But um, there's a bigger picture in in, in October. Absolutely. Uh, one of the really positive influences at the club uh, since he's signed, I think, on Super League, he's so happy is Jesse Senolafeu. He's out at the moment, but he's had a huge impact since he came to Cast. Yeah, mate, he's uh, it's a strange guy. He's just the, the happiest bloke ever in the world. He's just uh, he's always happy. He's always Sometimes you, you you come in and you come look as rugby league players. We're not all we're not all happy every every single minute of the day. And some would say I'm probably one of the moodiest. But it comes in and it just lifts you, lifts your energy and gives you give you gives you a bit of life. And look, he's he's, he's a great great player as well to boot. So uh, yeah, we'll miss him. I think he's out to four to six week with a bit of a knee injury. He actually did it catching my kicks after the game. <laughs> so I I, uh, I got I got told off for that. He's, uh, he's playing back row. So he said, Gailey, can you knock us a few kicks up? I want to practice me, me catches. And I think he did three and on his, on his fourth catch, it, it lands awkwardly. But he didn't tell Daryl, so we play. <laughs> so we play it next day, and he's got he's hobbling about. We, we go to Costa after a game, and he's hobbling about. And I say, Jesse, are you all right? He said, I've hurt my knee, but I don't know what to say to Daryl. <laughs> I said, you need to go tell him. And anyway, yeah, he's done he's had, four to six a week. Yeah, he's had an operation. He's he? had an op. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what it, what kind of operation he's had, but I did something similar, uh, kicking goals with Kev <laughs> back in about 2005. I tore my quad. I'm like, oh, I'm just telling him I'm kicking him back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Swatting him from sideline. Yeah. Forwards rock, just stupid. He's a great lad though, Jesse. Now, obviously, I see him at the uh, Iron squad. Obviously, the ben, Benny Roberts, yeah. uh, big junior Moores. And we said a prayer after the pitch, even though the beaters uh, after the game on the pitch. But that, that, some of that's part of the cast culture, isn't it? Ash, Ashley Gibson, as well, who's a chaplain. Um, and Paul Howell, I imagine, brought some quite big as well. Massive, yeah. Um, like you say, it, them boys are down quite often around our training session. And I think it's the, the culture at Castleford is is, is that it's uh, it's brilliant and it's it's like a, a family feel. So yeah. no, it, it, you see him, he'll often get get players after the game and, and they'll have a prayer. Look, it's uh, it's awesome really. Jesse's having a really positive influence on and off the field, and he was very very funny. We met him up at Christchurch, and this is Jesse Senola for you, getting to know you. My name's Jesse Senlafau. I'm playing for Castle Tigers, and um, that's me. 
Jesus Christ is my first hero, but um, someone that's alive and living, um, probably The Rock. <laughs> When I think back now, probably working in the mines in Australia, but um, what, I, I, what I like to do after football is uh, probably um, a social worker or along them lines. So, um, you know, I hope that um, I can work in the game for as long as I can. That would also be an awesome opportunity. I'll do, do a bit of um, on like TV work. <laughs> football, yeah. Um, my first game of football ever in my life was um, the Huddersfield Town, Huddersfield Town Football Club, they versus Chelsea, so I can probably say that I'm a Huddersfield fan. Island food, taro. <laughs> oh, taro is, um, it's like a uh, potato, but in Samoa it's probably their main source of protein and carb. But um, if I was to pick a food that everyone might know, it would be um, a New Zealand bacon egg pie. My first car. <laughs> um, it's an old, old Fiesta. That we, that's what we've got now. <laughs> Me and Junior Moores are driving an old Fiesta as a trainee, and everyone laughs at us. So, yeah, probably that. Remember the Titans. Yeah. <laughs> I like a lot of a lot of songs, but um, I like a little bit of gospel church music as well. You know, soon or very soon, soon or very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon or very soon, we are going to see the King. I said, soon or very soon, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we are going to see the King. Yeah. <laughs> I got a few, I got, I got a couple of best mates there. I got one in Wayfield, T. Arona, and then me and Junior Moores, obviously, me and Big Panda here in Cusford. But um, yeah, I got. <laughs> I'm pretty. Yeah, I got. I got. I got a lot of friends. So um, you know, I'm connected with a lot of good people around me, and yeah, I could probably name a few more. Um, to be honest, probably after games when I get to get my kids from the crowd and bring them on the field and you know celebrate the win with them, that's probably the best moment. And you know, it's it's the best doing of your family. is probably losing that grand final. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that wasn't, yeah. You know, it was a very, um, very good year last year, but um, obviously if we won that grand final, it would have been a very special year. Um, Captain Planet, <laughs> or in Dragon Ball Z. I've never been to a concert before. And so I'm, I'm obviously a security guard back home and I used to do part-time gigs and I got to do Robbie William, you know, I got to be a security guard for Robbie Williams' show and I got to watch the show for free, so that's probably the best gig. <laughs> Rugby, <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'll buy some food. <laughs> now, um, honestly, when if I did win that, I'll buy my mum and dad a house, people in Samoa, my family in Samoa house, and then set up for my future for me and my kids. Probably Thailand. I went there once with my missus, and yeah, I love that. So relaxing and cheap. <laughs> Look, I have a few, like when I was a young kid, I wanted to be like John Olomu and um, cut my hair like him and that, but um, probably in person and that someone I've met is probably Petro Sevenesiva. I want to be like him on the field and off the field. <laughs> Harry's Burgers and Shakes. <laughs> That's in Casper, get down there. <laughs>
he's, uh, he's, he's certainly a unique character, old Jesse, singing a song there for us. Mate, he enthralls me every week. I love the kid to bits. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, one game coming up that you, you won't be at the Wall of the Roses because you hopefully will be in Denver with the England team, June 23rd. But there's a huge outcry uh, from the NRL saying they don't want to release the players. Sam Burgess, all the boys based over there, and Wayne Bennett have signed a letter today saying that they're all in support of the game. Why does it need to go ahead, Gailey? For me, I just think these, these get-togethers, whether it be over here, Australia, like we did last May, and, and this one coming up in Denver, it just adds, it adds masses on, on, on the team spirit, the, the togetherness. And, and you might not think it, Ke Kev Sinfield, when we were getting together in parts last year, said you, you won't think that these little meetings and these couple of hours sessions that we do, you don't think you'll get out from it, but it's it, what it has in the long run is is brings you together. And this one in Denver, when you're away, you um, play New Zealand. I think I, I think it's it, it's great, and I think it's a great concept. Getting rugby league out, and I think it brings you together as a group. And I think it's uh, it's one that I'm looking forward to. It's four games against New Zealand in one year too many. Would you rather play the Tonga or someone else over there? I don't, I don't make the fixtures, do I? But I suppose it gives us a, in a positive way, it gives us a look at New Zealand and what we're going to face come, come the end of the season. If, uh, if it was a game against Tonga like the one in the World Cup, it'd be an absolute belter, wouldn't it? <laughs> we'd we'd take, uh, take three or four of them. But just for me, mate, th I, we don't waste time and energy on things you can't control. 100% agree with what Gail is saying about that, that elite training squad, if you like, getting together. It makes a massive difference at back end of the season, but... I just hope we can one day get to a point where we've got our own Yorkshire Lancashire. I keep banging on about it every week, and I always will. Have our own more at Roses, and if we have to take it to Denver, so that we can control ourselves, and it's a, an elite thing. Yep. We get all our best players, put on a great spectacle. Forget the Aussies and Kiwis, mate. Yep. They do my head in. Do my head in. Teammates is obviously the theme there. For the England boys, who's your best mate in the England team? Um, James Graham, I would say. Ah, yeah. I love him. <laughs> I love, yeah. Why do you love him so much? Uh, I just, I, he's just funny. I just, I love his, his crack, his personality, his genius. Just dry sense of humour. Um, we, we, we still text quite a lot, and he'll just, he'll put some one-liners in that just, or he'll send me. What he does, he sends me YouTube clips. Um, he sent me one other day on Danny Dyer's Deadliest Man. It's called uh, Stephen French. Have you heard of him? <laughs> He's a mad scouser. Um, and yeah, you'll have to look it up, Stephen French. Oh, so, uh, He's had a good start as well at Dragons, free from free. So he must be happy at the moment. Yeah, um, they look a great side, don't yeah. they? They added some. some That's what it was killing it. Yeah, they added some uh, some good players to what they already had. Ben on, I think, works with, with Gaz real well. And uh, yeah, I'd reckon they've got a good chance of winning that this year. Be great. Um, teammates, obviously, there is uh, is a theme, and we're back with teammates, and we go over now to the Holton Stadium and catch up with the Witness Boys as they bring us our K2 teammates. Check this out. I'm Brad Walk from Witness Vikings. Uh, nickname is Brad, uh, and play loose forward. Uh, I'm Oliver Ashall, back from Witness Vikings. Uh, I'm a fullback, uh, nickname just Ollie. Probably Jordan Johnson after every game, you get a, all the twins. Jay Chapel out, you get a tweet after every game, just, just the usual. Yeah, thanks, thanks to the thanking fans. the fans, yeah. <laughs> Reese Hambry, yeah, yeah Reese Hambry. He can drink for it forever. He's an Aussie, isn't he? So they can they can go for a while. Probably well at an Albert. Yeah. <laughs> Gil Dudson. Yeah, Gil Dudson. Especially after he's had a few pints. There was one time went out and he swilled Ollie, so. Pulled a full bottle of Corona over my head, actually, yeah. Just us, us little lads, I think he likes to get hold of us. Matt Whitley. <laughs> he always back our boobs on a yeah. night out and go see the girl. His missus, yeah. <laughs> Kirky, Alex Gerard. Massive, massive offender. Loves Tinder. Loves women, in fact, just all women. Me, 
one hundred percent me. Yeah, I'm a nerd. Yeah, I'm a nerd. So yeah. <laughs> I'm all over the games. Man City unbeaten, three years running. I play him now and then, but I'm not up to his standard yet. I have to keep him trying. I think Chris, one of them. Yeah, yeah Chris. He's pretty skillful in training. Probably also Danny Craven's very skillful. Getting them two up there. Charles. Charlie Munson. Charlie Munson loves rugby league. Like loves loves it. Always doing a self video and grabbing lads to do video. One to one. Got Alex him, yeah, Gerard, Alex Gerard again. He yeah. loves all these uh, fashionable clothes and comes in looking smart every day. <laughs> Probably McGrath. McGrath, yeah. Yeah, he's up there. Him yeah. and Hepke, he'll probably up there, one of the strongest. Probably Charlie. Charlie, again. Charlie. 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 Uh, he just, like you say, loves <laughs> rugby and always. Always grabbing lads for videos and stuff like that. He just, yeah, he loves it. Tom Gilmore. Yeah, Tom Gilmore, definitely. You can't have a conversation with him about him bringing up his missus. It's always about him and his missus. Always take her on little cute dates. <laughs> Probably Ollie, myself. Uh, he's had a bad couple of years with injuries and that, so uh, I think for him to come back in, like injury free this year and have a good year. Um, I don't know really. I think Chris, you know, he's a, he's a big, big signing for us and he's done well so far, so hopefully he can carry on. Greg Burt, he loves an excuse. He's always late. Yeah. Uh, probably Alex Gerrard. When yeah. he does train, he's probably the worst. <laughs> when he does train, uh, one in, four out. Keenan <laughs> 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 Rand. She's all right. <laughs> Probably Alex Gerrard. <laughs> uh, looks he looks like? a bit like Brad Pitt. <laughs> Gilly, he's the only ginger one we've got, isn't he? Tom Alberson. Oh yeah, Tom Alberson, yeah. He's a bit he's of a, a warrior. warrior. Yeah. Mm. He loves it. He's Don't like it. a bear, like, <laughs> he's got nice and cuddly of all us, but when he gets on the field, he's a bit rowdy. <laughs> Um, he's got a big conk on him. <laughs> Hep. Hep yeah. Hep. He's always got him on. Yeah, I love him. Nice little peachy bum as well. <laughs> Joe Miller, I'd say. Yeah, he turns into a little kid when he's had a drink, running round. <laughs> yeah. Chris Alston as well, he's... On a night, I was pretty loose, loves, loves a drink, like all the Aussies do. Winless boys there, having a giggle, having a laugh, but they've had a tough start this year, but there's some good young players coming for at Witness. Yeah, we played them, I think, round two, I think it was, round two or three, and look, they put on a, a real good show against us. A um, few young lads out there. Um, but I'm sure I'm sure Danny Specks will turn it around and and while ever you blood them youngsters, it's gonna it's gonna add value to you in in uh, on, in the long run really. So Jonesy, I was speaking to Tim Sheens last week. He's saying he's got 25 men. He's gonna rotate around Easter uh, to make sure the boys are fresh. We're into this Easter period. Two games in four days. Is it too much for rugby league players? I, I love it. Do you? I love it, mate. We all want to play rugby league, and uh, you know, so back in the day, back in 50s, 60s, you used to play it. Wednesday nights and all sorts under floodlight. Um, and when you, Gailey will tell you, you do a lot less training yeah. because you can't train. So less training, more playing, how good's that? Do you know what I mean? Well, well, look at Jonesy, he's... he's 84. <laughs> <laughs> no, look at him and the, the attitude he has. Look, it's it's part of our job, as yeah. Jonesy says, and, and we're used to it now. So um, you just get on with it. And like you say, today's session, what we had, probably 50 minutes. Um, yeah. Short day, done for 12.30. Life's good. Life is good. <laughs> what are you doing with this? 
come here. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's time now to go over to Hull FC. I'm going to come to you guys in the next few weeks as they take on the Crossbar Challenge. And uh, let's see how we get on. Here it is, Hull FC. Cheers, Lynn. OK, fair <laughs> Got nothing to prove. Thanks for that, mate. Lee Radford, sunbathing. <laughs> Jake Custard Connor Centre. <laughs> Josh Griffin Centre, nickname Floyd! <laughs> Alan Kelly, the dude. <laughs> Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> back row, but, uh... <laughs> PC down to second row. Jack Logan, aka Logan Bear. Nick Rostone, wing. Dean Adley, back row. <laughs> Massive Matonga forward. Brad Fast Prop. <laughs> Ross Osborne prop, Rig Ross. Got a land back row. Oh, 
Right now, it's time to go to a commercial break, but keep it locked right here, Rugby on Free Sports. We'll see you for more action in part two. <laughs> 